Intrapreneurial Chronicle. Uh, so let's start. So we think that blockchain is perfect technology, uh, but with string attached, it's uh, for now it's only for financial applications. So whenever you get like a blockchain and a real world and try to connect them, there's actually no interface. Uh, so what do I mean by this is how do you refer to like abstract solid uh, object? How can you? It, it doesn't have any address and it's uh, easy to copy. Even if you give like a barcode to the object, uh, you can easily copy to another object. What do I mean by this is, for example, let's take a simple example, a chair. It's uh, just like an asset. And uh, how do you know um, which particular chair do you refer from a smart contract? Um, so uh, what possible solution could be? You can possibly scan like for uh, atomic structure of a chair, of its material composition. Uh, but uh, we think there is a better way for to solve this problem. So uh, we think that uh, we can put cryptographic identity into any physical object. And how do we do this? Uh, we literally put chip inside. And uh, here are any uh, near field communication chip, uh, which you can, as you can see, it's uh, less than an inch in width and it's very thin. And we also have Bluetooth Low Energy chip. Um, yeah. So, what's, what's inside of uh, both of those chips? We have a private key which is generated at the first run, and nobody knows this uh, private key. And also it's stored in the secure element, so nobody can access If you try to connect to the chip, you will not be able to read this private key. Also, the chips have wireless connectivity, and the public key is exposed, so you can easily read it. Um, so, how do we proceed from here? We register identities on the blockchain. So as blocks progressing, we register different things or uh, physical objects to the blockchain uh, to be stored uh, there for many years to come. So what kind of objects can we register? It can be really tiny objects and really big ones. It can be round ones and square ones. So um, just to give you an example of what we can do from, with this. So here I have a product. We call it Crypto Seal. Um, so what is crypto seal? Basically, it's, a, it's just a tamper-proof adhesive sticker. So if you put it on any <coughs> physical object, like a box or a container, uh, if you try to peel it off or open, it will break it into many pieces. And also, uh, this sticker has a cryptographic microchip inside. It's here. And uh, it has a printed electronic circuit, so it goes all around through sticker. So if you uh, break the sticker itself, uh, the chip will record this information and it will be stored there. So you can prove at which, so for example, if you have like a chain, um, supply chain example, you will be able to know at which stage uh, the crypto seal was broken. We have different form factors of the crypto seal. It can be very small one and big one as I showed. So we can use it for packaging. Also we can use it for uh, documents, this round one. So here I have a live demo for you. So, it's the first time. Uh, here is an example of uh, the title deed. Uh, we put our um, crypto seal over here. So let me try to register it for you. Here I mirror in my Android app for registration. So I can try to verify it first. So here you can see nothing pops up. It means it, it's a new chip, never used. So I can select what kind of product I want to register to the blockchain. So here is a title deed for land. So now I try to register it. As you see, one tag was registered. And uh, we just need to wait three seconds because it's quorum and block time, like three, five seconds. Now I can try to verify this uh, chip. And as you can see here, there is information about this document and also blockchain information and also state it's already committed. Uh, I can click on transaction hash and go into our Chronicle Explorer here. You can see all the details about this transaction, like uh, hash, num uh, hash. Uh, transaction hash, gas, how much gas was used and so forth. And also I can click on transaction hash and go into Quorum Scape Shop, which is kind of a dashboard for Quorum deployment and um, 
So here is transaction to UFB. There is no direct link to transaction, so let me wait. Okay, so here is my transaction. I can click it and now I can see all the details of the transaction. So pitch block number, state, gas, and everything like that. So this is how we register any type of uh, physical asset. So as you can see also it's laminated and uh, uh, what this means that first we gave identity to this uh, document and also nobody can change its content. So if you try to uh, peel off uh, the lamination it will just break into many pieces. So here I have also something else to show. Here I have a bar of gold Like this is our chip in here. It's a pure gold. <laughs> so here I can scan it again, and now I can see information about this particular bar of gold. So uh, the issuer or the minter can add this chip, so nobody can uh, counterfeit uh, the gold, which is also the problem. And you also can see information from the blockchain. And here I have a packaging box, like for shipment. Uh, I can scan it as well as here you can see again the crypto seal. So now you can see information about this particular box and also uh, uh, blockchain information. Okay. So let's get back to presentation. Uh, so what's happening actually in this process? So when I tap the phone, uh, to the chip. Uh, phone generates a uh, really huge random number. It sends to the chip. Chip signs this number and sends it back to the phone. And then phone goes to the blockchain, in this case forum, and verifies whether this signature corresponds to the public key stored there. So crypto seal is a new stamp, which is a little bit more secure. I would say like, I don't know, infinity times more secure. And, uh, <laughs> and also, you, if you place it into like very valuable documents, there is no need for tamper-proof paper because you can print it on the cheapest paper you have and it will have much more stronger security than current versions. So what are the use cases for crypto seal? First of all, packaging for shipments, uh, supply chains, documents, as, just, as I just demonstrated. You can place it on equipment. So, uh, for example, equipment itself can interact with the chip wirelessly and uh, check whether it's still intact. So if you want to make sure that nobody opens equipment, you can interact with this uh, crypto seal and it will, you will be able to prove, let's say, to the cloud service that your equipment is, uh, not, wasn't open before. So you can also place it on art canvas and paint on top and uh, no one will be able to copy your art. Um, so forensic evidence and uh, also license plates uh, is a huge issue in Mexico. Uh, license plate uh, counterfeit. So, uh, also we have different form factor, uh, BLE one, Bluetooth Low Energy. So, on the left you can see it's the first version that we started from, and in the middle is the current one. As you can see, it's pretty small, uh, like compared to one cent. So, what we, can we do with this? It, uh, here I have a demo. Here I have a Bluetooth chip, which is cryptographic, which has both private key and public key. So, register registered public key of this chip. Checkpoints in the city. So, for regulation purposes, you can 
create pre-registered flight paths, and uh, drone when uh, when he will fly through the city to be able to produce uh, cryptographic proofs that he was at a specific point at a specific time. So now regulators can check this information and uh, yeah, regulate. So here I have also another demo. We built first IoT browser uh, backed by a blockchain. So let me. So here I have a couple products. I have a drone here. I promise I'm not going to fly it here now. And also a luxury product. So as you can see, I have uh, an app called a Discovery app. And uh, I can browse space around me. So I can go through different locations and see what's, what's near me. So for example, here is a drone. I can uh, interact with it, I can see information about it, I can buy it, I can read like feedback and stuff like that. So, the bag is not yet in here. Oh, cool. So yeah, internet connection here is slow, so maybe. Um, so here you can see information about the bag and here how it works. Yeah, it's first IoT browser backed by it. Thank you. 